Welcome to another episode of Nazi Zombie Gameplay with Meat Wagon 22. This is some gameplay footage I captured while attempting a knife and pistol only challenge. Uh, the only things you could buy were your perks, grenades, beddies, and use the electric fence. Other than that, knives and pistols only. And this turned out to be pretty tough, I tell you what. Uh, the hard part is, with just your knife and pistol, it's hard to build up enough points to uh, rebuy your perks if you go down or once you open the doors, you know, obviously we wanted to get the Bowie knife because that would make a big difference, but I was never able to build up enough points to get the Bowie knife. And see here, we've already got one of our guys went down. I'm trying to get over to him, but it's not a lot of damage I can do with my grenades and pistol here. So now we got a second guy down already. This is uh, round five. Just going to show you guys a couple rounds of what it was like. So what we're trying to do here is, you know, even if a couple a couple guys go down, if you can survive and finish the round out, just start again the next round. See, see how far you can get, continue on. So what I'm doing here is trying to give us some room to back up and I'm getting uh, getting low on ammo. I got no grenades, and still got a fair amount of zombies here. So, this, uh, like I said, this was a tough challenge, and uh oh, I got the third guy down. So right now I'm by myself, and little spoiler alert: I actually have to clutch two rounds in this video here with uh, basically no ammo and no grenades. The funny thing is that while running around here I'm trying to think where the heck are the grenades that you can buy off the wall I knew for sure there was some upstairs in uh, in by the teleporter up above the Thompson room but uh, and there's some at teleporter A I could not remember where the other grenades were and the funny part is in the second video you'll see once I once I go through a really long round I actually see the grenades at the end of the round uh, it wasn't wasn't real funny at the time, but uh, it it is now. So here, what I'm trying to do is figure out what to do. And no ammo, no grenades. I got enough money here, so I go ahead and buy Betty's. So I got two Betty's, and I'm trying to figure out how can I maximize the kills with just two Betty's. So I you know I've done this before where I was running running away from zombies you know letting them build up behind me but usually I have a ray gun and a, a wonder waffle or something like that to where I can take them out whenever I want here it's kind of a cat and mouse game where I just keep checking behind me and not running out too far ahead to where I run into all the zombies going back the other direction so here I I figure alright I'll plan a betty see how many I can take out and there's another little group there, so that that's not bad there. I took out about you know six zombies or so with those two Bettys. Now, I'm basically out of money, really low on money. No grenades, no ammo. Thinking, what am I gonna do now? I need a thousand points for the fence. And thinking if I can knife enough of these crawlers and knife enough zombies to to get my points, then maybe I can use the fence on them. But uh, I got my, my three teammates unfortunately are down and all they can do at this point is watch and it, it was pretty funny we were laughing and they were calling out where they could hear or see zombies maybe where I couldn't so I just kept moving around and seeing what I could do here uh, it's a strange feeling you know when you don't have any ammo and no points no nothing you're trying to figure out you know what the heck am I gonna do to kill these guys one strategy when you're knifing these guys is uh, to pull back on your right stick when you knife and hopefully it'll actually slash instead of dive out for them because really no matter what you do they're gonna swipe at you and a couple of the fast ones will actually get two swipes in on you gotta be real careful with that uh, not to go down while trying to knife these guys and it's taken a good four or five knives Hey, look at that. Now, luckily, I get a bomb to end that round. But I'm going to start this next round again 
no ammo, and I think I'll end up getting, you know, you get two grenades at the start of the round, so I'll have two grenades to start, and I still don't know where to buy grenades, even though I've played this map, I don't know how many times, I could not remember where, where to get grenades. So we got a dog around here, and I don't have any ammo. I got two Bettys, put my Bettys up here, and the guys are saying that, our castle right here is saying he's going to, He's going to lay down here and try and protect me, and I'll get in back by the cage, and he'll try and keep the dogs off me. I almost kill myself with my own grenade. So we're running around frantic, and look at Spider over there. He's trying to take all the dogs on. He's running up the stairs, jumping off. He's just doing laps. It's basically keeping the dogs off us while he's doing laps up and down the stairs. He's got dogs in front of him, dogs behind him. I get one jumping over Castle's head here. He's trying to come in and eat me dog's pretty pissed off at me I guess so spider goes down he had six dogs on top of him you get another dog jumping over castle's head so we're we're gonna go pick up spider but you know you got to take your time a little bit here keep an eye on that that color indicator over the down man when it starts to get pretty red that's that's the end of it you got to go get him so castle's gonna sacrifice himself here and go pick up spider and I'm still being a little little bit of a coward here sitting back in the cage not much I can do right now I'm just waiting for that max ammo at the end of this round to get some more ammunition so looks like we're coming towards the end of the dogs here still trying to knife the hell out of them so the fighter picks up castle but our other guys down and I don't think we're gonna be able to get to him but he'll respawn here not the round starting over again and that was pretty crazy I mean, again, trying to, to go through these rounds that you're used to shooting and blowing things up with, with no ammo, nothing but your knife. And if I had the Bowie knife, you know, up till about, uh, i say about round 15 or so, your Bowie knife is a one-shot kill on these dogs. So, And maybe two, two shots on, on a zombie with a Bowie knife. So a Bowie knife in this challenge and strategy would be, would be your best bet. But again, you look at the points, I'm only just over 2,000 points right now, and you need 3,000 to buy that Bowie knife. So, you know, strategy-wise, you might be able to have one of the guys uh, open up all the doors and get your juggernaut, and then build up enough points to go straight for that Bowie knife, because the only, the only perk we're buying here is, is juggernaut. And we got a guy down, two guys down. So I'm trying to revive him because I don't want to go solo again. But look, there there's zombies everywhere already. There's not, you know, you can't take them out as quick with with your knife and pistol. So I'm trying to figure out what can I do here. Am I am I gonna be able to jump back down there and get those guys? He's they're already turning red, pretty hard red on me. And I can hear I can hear zombies all down below me. And there's a bunch of crawlers down by him. And crawlers. Oh, see, we got our third guy down now. And, I'm going to go try and get him because it looks like he's out of this danger area. I didn't know exactly where he was. And you'll see, well, I have to actually open a gate to get to him, which, you know, spends another 750 of my points, which I could I could have really used. But look at this. Look at all these crawlers down here. And they pretty much got me trapped. So I figure this is it. I take off, and I'm stuck. I'm stuck on a zombie, and I'm jumping, I'm jumping. And somehow, don't ask me how, I don't know, I got out of there, but... You know, the funny thing about it is, when you take a hard enough swipe from the zombies and your screen goes pretty red, you actually lose points. You lose points just as if you went down. And there's a couple times in here that I had enough points to turn on a barrier or, you know, when I initially bought my Bettys, I had the points and I took a swipe and it actually went down below a thousand, so... I didn't realize that until watching this back that you lose points. You don't do it every time on a hard swipe, but I, I did notice two or three times I lost some points. So keep that in mind too if you if you get stuck running around by yourself. So it's clutch time here again, and again, I'm almost out of ammo. I'm out of grenades, and dummy me, I don't know where the stupid grenades are to buy them off the wall. If I did, it would have made these rounds a lot easier for me. I mean, look at all these zombies I still got to kill. I'm just running around like an idiot. 
Luckily, I got that fence there. I'm going to take out most of those zombies that were behind me with that fence. So, that won't be too bad. But, there it is. I'm out of ammo again. Got a couple crawlers. And this guy right here. I think that this is the last standing zombie because of that fence. And... Now I just got those two little crawlers there because that, that fence did some work for me and took out that big batch of them. Yeah, I'm down, again, down on points. No ammo, no grenades, and that's the end of the round. So stay tuned for part two, and we'll go for some more zombie craziness. Thanks for watching, guys.